Yeah. Hold on. Hi, how are you going? It's for you. What's for me? Chocolates? No, it's fine. Oh, they're fine. Who is it? I don't know. You don't know? Is it on hold? Uh, no. Oops, so they've heard everything we've said. Uh, okay. I guess so. Let me um, take the call and then come back and spend a couple of minutes with me and we'll actually just go through some telephone skills, okay? Okay. Okay, no worries. Hi, how are you going? Yes, that's right. Oh, I've been expecting your call. Great to hear from you. Do you want to talk to me? Oh, I just thought it'd be a great opportunity for us to talk about some telephone skills. Because you know when the telephone rings, that's the time when your customer is going to get a first impression of what they think the company is all about. So tell me, how do you normally answer the telephone? Just say, hi. Hi. Hi is good, and you smile. So do they say to you, hmm, who have I called? Uh, oh, once or twice. Yeah. Okay, so you get that sort of reaction. When you answer a telephone, you need to make sure that the people clearly understand who they've called. And it's great if you can, you know, pick up the phone, smile, sounds silly, but just smile and go, good morning or good afternoon. Uh, this is the ABC Box Company, JJ speaking. And that tells them who exactly they've rung, and it gives them that opportunity to go, oops, I've got the wrong phone number, or can I talk to somebody? Okay, but it gives a really good in first impression of what our company is all about, and that's really important. The reason why you smile is because sometimes does the phone ring when you're in the middle of work? Yeah, it's really Do you feel annoying. really annoyed about it? So the idea of smiling is that it takes that annoyance out of your voice because believe it or not, people can actually feel your emotions through your voice. So if you answer the telephone and you go, <laughs> what? They actually instantly react to that. So you want to be able to make sure that when you answer the phone you give across the confidence and a welcoming feel. So yes, we want your call. We value you as a customer to our organisation and, and we're happy to take this call. So sometimes you mightn't be very happy, but by smiling you're going to, you know, make yourself happy on the telephone. So one of the things we need to do is develop a script so everybody answers the telephone in the same way. So good morning, good afternoon is a great way to actually start the script. And then we might have the name of the company. So we'll go with the ABC Box Company. And then you can either say, this is JJ or JJ speaking. Sometimes people say, well, I know you're speaking because I can hear you, right? So this is Jenny or this is JJ is actually a really good way of, of getting around that little quirk. Then what we need to do is find out who's on the telephone. So give the person the opportunity to introduce themselves and find out really quickly why they've called us. And then you can direct them on to the right person. When you take a telephone call, do sometimes you forget who's on the end of the call. So you know they might, might want to talk to me, but by the time they've given you the conversation, you've forgotten who they're after. Yeah. Okay, so what you can do is actually develop some little habits to cheat. What I do when I answer the telephone is I talk to the person, I try and smile, and they say it's Bob here and I want to talk to JJ. So I'll quickly write down Bob and want to talk to JJ. Then I might have more of a conversation with them, but I now know it's Bob on the phone. So if I then have to put the call on hold and find you, I can then come to you and say, JJ, there's a call for you and it's Bob. And then once I've finished the call, I just cross that out. If you're not available to, to, to take the call, there are certain things that I need to actually get from the person on the other end of the phone. What do you think they might be? Name. Sure. Message. Mm-hmm, yeah. Um, who's it for? Yep. Uh, time of call. Time of call, yeah. What else? So if you give me all of that information, is there enough information there for me to return the call? Not yet, you need the number. I need the number. So even if it's my husband, I don't care. Just make sure I get the number. Because it might be somebody that you think is really familiar to me. But if I'm out on the road and I ring in to take my calls and say, is there any calls? And you say, oh yes, Bob ring. He says you know the number. I don't have 
my Outlook with me, so I can't look up his number. So if you can take the number, it's a time-saving um, effort, okay? What else do you think is probably important as far as telephoning is concerned in the office? Being polite. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. So politeness is really important. If we want to make sure that customers feel we value them, that we are polite, and we want to, uh, to make sure that they realise that we've got time for them. But, you know, there's this fine line that we actually travel on that. It's really important that in half an hour's time you're still not talking to Bob, who really wanted to talk to me, and now you're just chatting. Okay. Have you ever heard of the term the gatekeeper? No. Okay, the gatekeeper is the person who takes the call and is going to save me from all the telemarketers. So you're the person who answers the call when it first comes in, and now you're going to say, who would you like to talk to? Would you like to talk to Jenny? What's the call about? Oh, you want to actually change over our telephone numbers? I'm, I'll check with her and see if she's available. So you put up that screen, and now you're what's called the gatekeeper, so you're protecting your supervisor from all the inappropriate phone calls that might come in. Okay? It's really hard when you first start in a workplace to know what are the appropriate and inappropriate calls. So what you need to do is ask your supervisor for some guidance. So what calls do you want? What calls do you want me not to take? Okay? But if you take clear, concise messages, they can always get back to them. Okay? Okay. Is there anything else about answering the telephone in a workplace that actually bothers you? Not really. No, no. Telephones are really part and parcel of our everyday life now. And certainly uh, with a lot of businesses where we're running very remotely, but using the telephone is really important. So we want to make sure that the clear message goes out, that we are responsive to our clients, we answer the phone very quickly, they know who we are, and their, their um, calls are put through to the appropriate people. Okay? Great. I look forward to taking the next telephone call from you.